Hey Aquarius, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections read. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. If you need information about my personal readings and um, the links to all my extended reads, they are in the description box below, so go ahead and check them out if you're inclined. All right. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and do your reading. All right. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Seven of Swords. The Ten of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, the Three of Wands. Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Coins. We have the Palace of Swords. Give me more. Seven of Cups, and the Hierophant. On the bottom of the deck, we have Death. I'm looking at some underlying energies that you have here. Okay, so Aquarius, I'm getting here that you may have some you may have some you you may have found yourself in a, in some sort of entanglement right here some unhealthy attachments it could be um you know some well for some this is not really related to unhealthy attachments but more so you're just stuck in uh could this be family matters or family matters or financial burden Mm -hmm. Or I'm also getting, you could be um, stuck in some unhealthy attachments, unhealthy vices, like drugs, alcohol, and things like that, that has impacted um, your day-to-day -day life, impacted your stability. Mm -hmm. Or you're just being stuck in in a situation relating to some family matters or some sort of something related to stability codependency even i feel and you're trying to you're trying to change course you are trying to navigate your life into a different direction but even that i feel it has um or that could have given you some sort of ending, and you end probably an ending to this codependency, an ending to some um, stagnant situation. And now you are dealing with this ending, definitely with an ending. You want a new beginning, and coming into this reading, I see that that's exactly what you are embodying. 
you're having this new beginning here that made you really very happy. You're starting something new. This could be a new job, a new relationship, um, new opportunity, new passionate endeavor, whatever passion you have in your life, this could be a new beginning with it. And you're pretty happy with it. Huh? You're enjoying it. You're, you're happy, basically. Emotionally fulfilled. Mm -hmm. But I feel that um, with regards to this connection, there is an element here of you just wanting to move forward in order to remove those anxiety, stressful um, experience out of your life. Mm -hmm. If you have been burdened by this uh, relationship in the past, now you're just um, wanting to just drop all the burden. It's uh, The burden is finished here. And you could see that. You could see. And that's the reason why I feel now you are in the mood of wanting to regain back balance in this connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're wanting to reciprocate here, I feel. You want to bring back balance. But what is not clear to me right now is that are you wanting to have balance with this person in this connection or just gaining back balance on your own? Because things have ended here, but you're pretty much starting a new phase in your life there. That could just be you having a new job and then you're happy with it. Nothing to do with this person or... Mm -hmm. That could be you having new endeavor in life that makes you happy. And for some, if, if you were in this entanglement in the past on financial terms... This could be you trying to reinstate back that balance, you know, giving back what you owe. Or at the same time, um, this could be in terms of effort. Because here, Pentacles talks about um, financial, um, tangible things in life. But if we're reading it on the energy level, it's more like um, you're wanting to regain balance and bring back... Um, the stability in in a relationship that you know there's always that equal give and take whether it be on time doesn't have ne doesn't necessarily be about money but in in giving attention to one another in being affectionate it needs to be back and forth yeah equal give and take and i feel that you're wanting that you're leaving behind all the mind games the commotions of the past the the burdens that you may have with this person you want that all as an old story. Yeah. Old story right here. Mm -hmm. And um, what you want in this connection, um, Aquarius, is more like. Um, You want all this um, commotion that is happening right here to be just gone and be able to think about that precise thing on what to do to commit into something. To bring this connection into a rather more stable front. To bring this connection into a um, higher level form of commitment. Because you couldn't understand somehow. I feel that um, at some point you you would also think, what is causing, you know, I, you, you may have been with this person for a while and then there was an ending. And then time has passed and then now you realize, what were we fighting about? So this is more like it. What was the fight all about? Why was I burdened? Why was I in that state of depression, difficulty, burdened? stress, you know, all those um, low vibe kind of energy. So you're pretty much thinking, well, what were those things? 
And for some who have already gone into the process of really going them through your head, you have analyzed those. And at some point, I feel that you have learned um, or you have learned to understand what um, what's there to understand about that situation. Yeah, you've learned the lessons and I feel not necessarily the lessons. You, you became more spiritual here. You became more um, understanding in, ter in terms of seeing how things have panned out in the past before you may even be defensive or you may have come across as defensive. You may have come across as um, not giving because you were just protecting yourself and your interests. But here I see that with all those confusion and all that, um, you still want commitment in this connection. But something has started in your life that is giving you more happiness. This could also be you, you know, being out of the tunnel when this um, dark place that you were in, yeah, when things have ended on that, when you tried to maneuver your life to have a new path to go through, that gave you that new level of hope or a new path to walk on. And now things are becoming clear on what you truly want. And what you want is something solid. What you want is something real. You're not so, you know, most of you might think that you are not normal because you can't deal with this for a long time. But after all, once lessons are learned, you realize you're not too different. <clears throat> I know you might not like me saying that, but because it's an Aquarius, you always feel that you are not probably, you're still unique, you know? <clears throat> It's just a matter of you um, getting more understanding and being more wise than usual than the rest of the folks perhaps around you. <laughs> yeah, But I feel that you're wanting this um, groundedness. And you fully understood what has happened. Yeah? Possibly you wanting to uh, bring back balance into this connection is because... You see this as um, a good thing. You see this relationship as a good thing. Or this connection, yeah? But why the Seven of Swords? This is an Aquarian energy, but this usually depicts um, some sort of, like, you know, dishonest behavior. Um, sneakiness and all that but most often they're not really that negative but in this spread I do see that um, things are not as they usually seem Yeah. so this could be you this could be them this could be you wanting to have that new beginning with your person but you're just not being upfront about it yeah, because at the end of it, you want commitment here. You're thinking, though, you know, for somebody here to make a decision. Someone here is wanting someone to make a decision on what truly is this something. Is this really the connection that you both want to pursue? If it is, you want to be committed right here. Mm -hmm. But what is very telling here is that you want to... Um, move past the um, the difficulties of the past and you're wanting to just reciprocate, bring balance to this connection. Yeah. Now, there's an ending, right? And um, transformation is occurring in this connection right now. As with your person, I do feel that um, your person is pretty much very straightforward in their dealings with life. So, I feel that they are more focused on, on planning what to do with their life, on what makes them, um, what can make them more successful, what can give them more returns in life. But I feel that it is more not on a, not on the um, emotional level. King of Swords and the Three of Wands.
they could be waiting for you whether you are coming back or not but I see here uh, someone who is pretty wise in their choices somebody who is now open he's, he's open this person is pretty open in in their options in the world right now and they do have they could have a lot of things that are that they're busy with they're planning things out here for their success for their um i see this person is focused on their life right now mm -hmm. they're focused in their life right now and if there is a chance for both of you to reconnect i feel that this person is also wanting to is, is also going to be communicating truthfully That this person is waiting for you so another message I'm getting here um, Aquarius is that you may you may see or you may feel that this person is pretty much detached from you and you may feel that they are no longer thinking about you well part of this person's life right now is the fact that they know that things have ended yeah, or there's nothing for at least for both of you now. If there's no commitment, that means you're both individual beings. Yeah, so this person is is open to to other things. They may be at work. It may be new acquaintances. Um, they're waiting, and they're actually even at the point of you know having possibly even options and thinking which one could turn out to be better. You know, waiting expectantly. For the ships to return so if this person has put out good vibes definitely a lot of good vibes will come back and this person is just waiting for those opportunities from the universe it's somebody who has um, put the trust back to the universe and how on what type of blessings that would come their way once again kind of energy but I think the the factor here on the seven of swords is that nothing seems no, everything here doesn't exactly um, depicts what's un happening in underneath. Yeah. So, like this person could appear uh, stern, but waiting. And for your part as well, you may be even um, starting something off here. Yeah. And maybe you're wanting to reciprocate and wanting to have this commitment, but you're not saying it out loud or something like that. Okay, so that's that's kind of the message I'm getting here. Nothing is as it, everything doesn't uh, um, exactly how it seems to be right now. Yeah. But I do see that um, in the long run, you're actually liking this connection. You're going to think through and see what exactly what do you want out of this. Okay. So this is the transformation stage of your ending with this person. So you moving forward and um, possibly reciprocating right here could actually transform this connection into something better. Because transformation is always depicting a new start. Rather more committed in this case. Okay, um, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it at that. Hope that gives you insights with regards to your connection. Um, let me know how this resonates with you. And um, leave comments. And, and um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like it. Otherwise, um, um, be well and um, take care. Bye now.